names. Do you think you could give me an idea of what they mean? Keystone, foundation, and indicator. Any, I'll take them. Awesome. Predator prey is, is an exact example of a keystone. They have like a really strong effect, not prey, I'm sorry, predator, on the whole ecosystem. So it could be an organism, but they, they tend to reference a lot predation on, um, as a term that describes keystone species. I don't know why it says habitat here. Take that off because we're talking about species. Okay. Foundation species. What do you think they do? Good. They are responsible for shaping habitats, and they do this to benefit other species or themselves. And indicator? Indicators. And birds is like a perfect example. What do they do? They warn them. Awesome. They warn or provide early warning signs to possible, um, which usually involve what? Hunters. Weather. Good. Hunters is true. Is also true, or, or predators. So here's an example of what you just said. Can they correlate? Sure, because you could be a native or a non-native species and then become, you know, another form of like a generalist or a specialist. You, don't, you know what I'm saying? So they can all correlate. So what's the difference here, native and non-native? Good. They always have been in that ecosystem. It's their specific location. And non-native, what? how did they get there? They were brought in. They're brought in, okay. And what are words that describe non-native? Invasive, good. What else? Foreign. Foreign. What else? I put invaders. Invasive is actually better. What else? Yeah. Alien. Alien. Yeah. Like, you know, they, they call that an exotic is actually really commonly used. Alien species, like when you're not um, a member of this country or, or born in this country, you're considered an, not, not illegal alien, but an alien, right? Or, or an immigrant that doesn't have papers, right? Same thing with species. Link. And by the way, if you ever wanted to look at the links, if you open my notes in iBooks, you can click copy and paste the link and open them. Okay. That's the only way to be able to they're not clickable because they're PDFs, but a PDF and iBooks, you can actually copy information and paste it onto the web, okay? So if you, this is a list of most um, alien or exotic species or non-native species. And what they do is they kind of somehow, even though they don't belong there, they end up thriving. Does anybody know why? Like sometimes they become a bit nice predators. Yes, they can become the predators. They don't have any predators. There's no natural predator in that area, so they they can thrive because they don't have anything that's in its chain to get rid of it. So that's definitely something we're going to focus on later on in the unit or another unit. All right, so we kind of like broke down species in an ecosystem, and now we're going to talk about populations in the ecosystem, so them together. And what's the definition of population as a review? A group of species in a given area. Good. If a population's needs are not met, what can happen? Extinction. So they could die. What else? Well, that's dying. Competition. They could fight. They may not kill each other, but they fight. What else? Migrate. Migrate. They could leave. Whoops. I seem to keep making the birds leave. And lastly... What does that mean? If you're surviving, if you're naturally selected, what are you doing? Adaptation or evolving? Good. Adapt or evolve to that situation. Over time, and it's through a population. That's the end of this unit.